get the mountain share in Ubuntu and see that share from Windows, the first pertinent information we're going to need is the name of the Ubuntu box. So have a look in your host file. You can open that with sudo nano slash etc slash hosts. Tap in your password. And up at the top there you'll see there's the current IP address of the Ubuntu box. It's on DHCP. But that's what we're after. There's its host name. In this case it's VM Ubuntu. We'll need that later on. Just control X to get out of there. Now we're going to install Samba in a minute. I've seen some problems installing it if you don't have all the latest dates on. So run sudo space apt dash get space update. And that'll pull down all the latest bits and bobs. Okay, when it's finished it should say done. And I'm going to close that down. Now the folder I'm going to share is in my uh, home folder and it's the public folder. I'm not concerned about security at this point, there's only me going to be using it so the security has got to be wide open. Go to share and options and select share this folder and because Samba is not in it will say it's not installed. Click the button to install the service and tap in your password because you're making a system change and package files will come down. I've speeded this up slightly and get installed. Successful close and then it should tell you to restart your session and that's okay, log out anyway. After a couple of seconds it should kick us off, go back to the login screen, log back in again Open a terminal session and I'm going to edit the configuration file for Samba. So on sudo nano slash etc slash samba slash smb.conf. Okay, scroll down and what we're looking for is the global section. Now below that you'll see there's an entry that says workgroup equals workgroup. That's the default on Windows boxes so you shouldn't need to change it. If you've got anything weird in there you can uh, you can change your workgroup to home or whatever. But below workgroup we're going to put an entry in that is for space user equals then the username that you are using on your Ubuntu box. In my case that's picked. So that all files created in the share will appear and have the permissions that they would have if I'd created them here as my logged in user. The last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to restart the Samba service. So sudo restart smbd because we've made a change to the configuration file. Once again tap my password and that's it done. Close that down. Now, remember we didn't share the folder last time because it told us the sharing service wasn't installed, so we're going to go back and do that again. Right click the public folder, sharing options. Now, remember I'm setting this wide open. It's only me going to be using it. Yeah. Create share. And you'll see here yeah, this little tiny overlay over the icon there. If I open that up, just create a test document in there. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to jump across onto my Windows box and I'm going to open that share up from Windows. Now remember we looked in the host file to find out what the host name was and it was VM Ubuntu. So slash slash VM Ubuntu slash public. Just standard UNC share. and there's my test document. I can now open that up tap some text into it save that there it 
is it? I can quite happily create a document from Windows and put it in the same share. Now if we leap back onto my Ubuntu box, there's a test document, you can see that it's been written to well it's no longer blank, but let's open it up anyway. Yeah. That's the text that we put in just to prove the permissions work. And let's make sure we can open the one that was created from Windows. Tap some text in there. That's that done. Don't forget to come and visit us at www.peatnetlive.com. Thanks very much for watching.